Hello, Champagne Dreamers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss J, your trash queen of glam, geek, and gore. And for today's video, we are continuing on the 2021 declutter journey. And we are going to be doing blush and highlighter products today. I love a good blush moment. I have been living for blush. I have always loved highlighter. I love to glow for the gods, as they used to say like six years ago. Don't forget, there's going to be a companion piece over on JanessaJ.com where I show off the full collection. And if you want to see what I'm actually decluttering from my blush and highlight collection, then I think you should stick around because we're getting into it right now. Hello again, Champagne Dreamers, and welcome back to my declutter. Today we are doing blushes and highlights, and I recently did a video where I talked about my blush journey. I will go ahead and link that up here in the cards. But unfortunately, some journeys have to come to an end, so we're going to be talking about some of the products that I just decided can leave my collection. It's all right if they say goodbye. Bye! And let's go ahead and take a look at those. If you want to see the full grouping of products that I looked through to get this declutter, definitely make sure you go over to jenasj.com and check out the accompanying post, and I'll have that linked down in the description box below. Let's start off with some of our problematic products. And here we have some highlighters by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So these are three shades of the Liquid Frost. This is Frostbite. Oh, let's see. These have such small labels. Ice Queen and Frozen Peach. So these are ones, I think... I might have picked one or two of these up at launch, but I've gotten a few of these also in mystery boxes. I don't really love liquid highlighters. This component, this thing is really hard to use. This little dropper is not designed very well and, you know, having to squish it and then it never comes out right. So I don't like liquid highlighters anyway, so I'm getting rid of those. And I'm also getting rid of three shades of the Skin Frost. This is Nefri. That didn't age well. Princess Cut, and Onyx Ice. Another common brand on people's problematic lists. Here's a couple of the cream blushes from Lime Crime. These are the software blushes, and in the shade Hyperlink and Hot Spot. I don't love cream blushes either, and this formula I found doesn't age very well. It's kind of gotten a little bit gritty, a little bit sad, so I decided to get rid of these. I did keep a couple of the more odd shades, but for these, I just didn't need to keep them. And of course, Kat Von D or KVD Vegan Friendship Unicorn Beauty or Truth Bargain Bitch, whatever the fuck they're calling themselves now. Who can keep up? I've got two of the Metal Crush highlighters. This is in the shade Stefanic and then Gold School. These, I've used these a couple times. They're okay. I like a glittery highlight, but these are glittery in a not great way. Like these are just kind of chunky and the base is white in a way that doesn't really ever either blend out or the white doesn't contribute to the highlight look. So it's just, they're not great to use. I don't love them. I got them on super sale and now I'm just gonna pass them along. Maybe somebody else can make them work. And speaking of drama and commentary, I have the Smoky Glow uh, Midas Cosmetics Highlighter Duo. Here is the little duo of those two shades. These are great if you're an everyday makeup wearer, but they're just a little too basic for this big old drag queen hooker clown. So they're a little bit too subtle. They're not quite as ridiculous and over the top as I like them. They're pretty, and I've played with them a little, especially this shade Slay, but they just don't, they don't really work for my style of makeup. A couple of Morphe products here. I'm actually gonna have a separate brand declutter of Morphe and the Revolution Beauty brands, but these snuck into the blush highlighter drawer. So we can talk about these. This is Stardust, the high impact highlighter, and this is one of their blush trios, and this is in the shade Pop of Pink. I do really like these blush trios, and you can see I've gotten a fair amount of use out of this. It's just this shade right here isn't really, I, I don't know what that is. It's sort of pink, it's sort of mauve, it's sort of beige. It just doesn't come out nice. This is really pretty, and then this one also, I don't really know what to do with it. It doesn't blend well with a lot of my other blushes, so I have a few more of these that I'm definitely keeping, but I did decide to get rid of this one. And then this is pretty, but 
It just, I don't really need another white based highlighter with a pink reflect. I've got so many of these, so if I want to clear some room, I mean, that is pretty. I'm not going to swatch everything, but that is really pretty, and I'm sure somebody will love this, but I just have so many of these and I don't need it. Similar to the Jeffree Star Liquid Frost that we talked about earlier, this is a liquid highlighter from uh, Revolution, another one that snuck out of the brand bin, but um, this is Mermaid Scales. It's kind of a pale green with some gold, and this is a yellow from OMFG. I got this... I might have ordered this on its own or else I got it in a mystery box, but I just can't make liquid highlighters work for me. I love this yellow color. I love green makeup, but these just need to go because I don't, I don't really like working with liquid highlighters. Now for a few products from some black-owned makeup brands. I do have a bin of black-owned makeup brands that's going to be included in an upcoming declutter, but these were some... I'm not very good at organizing things, so sometimes things are in their own bin, and sometimes they are in among other things, but this is a beautiful brown blush. This is from Sacha, and this is the shade Matte Brown. I use this for contour, and I liked it, but it's not ideal for contour, and I don't really use blush that color so I figured I'll pass this along and somebody who might use it more could get some use out of it. These are a couple of blushes from Vault Cosmetics by Jackie Megiddo. They've actually changed their name now to Jackie Megiddo Cosmetics and I like these. They're great but I just don't love them. I don't, uh, I like a lot of products from a lot of black-owned makeup brands. These just were not a hit for me. They were good, but not great. And I have so many blushes that these just had to get the cut, unfortunately. And then we have the Lemonade Highlighter Palette from Lena Lashes. This is phenomenal. I love this palette. The only reason I'm getting rid of this one is because I have three of them. So I ordered one for myself, and then she often has this on sale for like $5, or sometimes it's been a free gift with other purchases, and somehow I ended up with three of them. So I've got one in the office, one in my makeup at home, and I was like, that's just overkill. Like, two is more than enough, three is overkill, even for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along to somebody else, because this is a beautiful highlighter palette, and I think they'll get some good use out of this. And of course, we have a few products from the now defunct Tyra Beauty. Yes, I know MLM people are going to have some rage, but I was a beauty tainer for a while. This was their cream blush in Staycation. This is a beautiful shade. This is a dupe for NARS's orgasm, but I just don't need it. I don't love cream blushes. It's starting to dry out a little bit because this is a couple years old now um, because they haven't even been in business for two, three years. So, and then these are a couple of their sticks. This is one of their highlighters in a stick. I didn't love the highlighters as much as I loved the contour. The contour in a stick, I still cry every day that it's not available. And then this was the last product that they released before they like disappeared. They added a shade of their cream blush in a stick. So those are some products from Tyra Beauty. Now for some products from some indie brands. This is the Loose Shimmer Highlighter from Give Me Glow in the shade Glazed. This is pretty, it's just kind of that shell pink kind of color. With a pink highlighter, I want bubblegum pink. I want fuchsia. I want crazy pink. I don't want like a shell pink. This is fun. I don't love loose highlighters in general. They do have one that's a better color that I am keeping that's more of a peach, but this one, I just, because it's that shell pink and it's a formula that I don't really love, I'm just going to go ahead and pass that on. And then we do have two from Kaleidos. I do love the highlighters from Kaleidos. Now with these, the reason why I'm getting rid of Skywalker and Star Surfer... Ugh. Um, this one is for a couple of reasons, because number one, the packaging is broken, and this one I also tried to depot to see how it would work, and I didn't, this does not, this is the old packaging, so this doesn't stick in a magnetic palette, I would have to add a little metal piece to the back. And so I just stuck it back in here, and um, I recently ordered some different highlighters. I had reviewed the Space Age Prophecy highlighter. I'll make sure I go ahead and link that down in the description box. But I decided to do a highlighter bundle deal, and so since this one had the broken packaging and was out of the package, I decided to replace this one. And then I looked at which ones I had used the most, and I had used quite a bit of Star Surfer. So I got a replacement for this, and then I ordered all the colors that I didn't have. That was how I did the bundle deal. And so these two are going in the declutter. 
And from Lunar Beauty, we have this beautiful compact. This is the Prism Powder in the shade Jupiter. This was a gift with purchase when I bought the Eclipse palette. And it's lovely. I do like this formula, but this is way too dark for me. And this doesn't really work with any of the blush colors that I tend to use. So I decided to go ahead and declutter this one just because I like the formula. And so if I have a chance, I might pick up some of the lighter colors that are more designed for my skin tone. But this is a lovely color, but it's just not for me. So I'll pass this along. Here's some products that are typical of Sephora brands. So from Urban Decay, this is the Kristen Leanne highlighter. Um, I depotted her eyeshadow palette. The way it was designed drove me absolutely fucking nuts. This is a beautiful highlighter, but it's not anything special. Oh, and then I dug my nail into it. Lovely. Um, these are beautiful, but they're not unique colors. I have... 50,000 champagne highlighters, a ton of like taupey, this kind of coppery bronze. I just don't need this and I can pass this on to somebody who will appreciate it more. Also from Urban Decay, this is the Space Powder. This is a little tiny baby one of their baked, I don't know if this says a color, I think it's just called Space Powder. Um, but this is a beautiful gold. It's just hard to use because it's so small. I do have a couple of these in the larger size that I decided to hold on to, but I just, this little yellow gold, I'm like, I'm never gonna use that. I have some yellow gold highlighters that I like so much better, and it is glittery and beautiful, and it kind of blends away, you can see. This one just wasn't the same as, the other ones I think are Fireball, and there's like a champagne one, and they're really good, but this one, I got it on super clearance, and I didn't fall in love with it, so it's gonna go. From Too Faced, this is the You're So Jelly Jelly Highlighter. I love that this smells like gummy bears. It smells so good, but you can see it kind of separates a little bit. You have to kind of mix it up. It's a little bit messy, and I don't love jelly, creamy, liquidy sort of products. Mmm, I do love that smell, though. But this one, I did keep one of these, but this one is just... I don't know, it's not working for me. I've tried to use it a few times and I just can't get it to look the way that I want. And so somebody else who likes cream products will really love this. This is one of the first things that I ever bought when Fargo got their Sephora inside JCPenney. And you can see I used this as a blush. I think this was supposed to be an eyeshadow, but I used it as a blush. It was this like tie-dye marble kind of thing. And it was really beautiful. It made a beautiful, bright, pinky coral blush. I love it. I wish they would bring these back. So this is in the shade Lyric. This is so pretty. I absolutely love this, but I've hit pan. It's getting old. It's time for this to go. And the last couple here, we've got a Makeup Forever. This was one where I picked out the pans myself, and these are okay. I don't know why I picked that color. I have so many that are that color and I never use them. And then I got this pink, and then I got this kind of peachy coral blush, and I just... I don't love them. I want to love them, and I just can't love them for whatever reason. So this is gonna go. And then we have this little baby. So this is something Sephora loves to do. They love to make a little baby size of orgasm. I have had so many of these little ones that came in gift with purchase, that came in sample sets, that were like point rewards. I don't even know how many of these I've decluttered over the years. I like Orgasm, but now every brand has a dupe for Orgasm, so I decided to get rid of this. If I decide that I need to have it from this brand again, which I probably won't, because like I said, I have so many dupes for it, I will just go ahead and buy a full size. Here we have just a couple of random highlighters. This is from OMFG Cosmetics. This came in a mystery box. This is their loose highlighting powder in icy blue. This is really pretty, and I do like blue highlighters, but as I've said before, I don't really love loose powder highlighters, and I have other blues that are a better blue than this. And so it was in a mystery box. It was fun, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. And then this is one that I got from a friend. She got it in some sort of subscription box, mystery box. This is the Cargo HD. This is in the shade bronze and I tried it out she was very sweet and she gifted me some of the products that she didn't want that she's gotten kind of over the years in different products different boxes and stuff and this again is too bronzy for me I like cool tones I like pinks and peaches this is a little bit too much of that warm bronzy tan summery kind of color and ugh, not for me so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along
Now let's get into some drugstore and lower priced products that I'm getting rid of. These are three highlighters from Wet n Wild. I like the cheek products from Wet n Wild, let me just say that. But there's a couple of these that I'm like, ah, I can live without this. And, um, you know, in the case of this, this is one of their blushes. Well, it says highlighting powder. I bought it as a blush. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, does this say the color? No, the color, oh, up here, duh, right there, Bloom Time. I have two of these. I liked it so much, apparently, that I bought it twice, so this is a duplicate. This was from their Fantasy Makers collection. I really did like this. Um, this is the one that I liked the least. This is a little bit of a thinner kind of color. It's got more of just that duochrome flash, whereas these are a little bit more, they have a presence and they're a little bit more metallic. Um, this is in the shade Halo Effect. I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as a couple other shades, so I kept those and I'm getting rid of this. And this was their Gold Bar Highlighter. I remember everybody talking about how this was like the wet and wild highlighter you had to have and i got suckered into it from youtube and then i got it and it was just a gold highlighter it's just a gold highlighter it's a pretty gold highlighter it's a nice gold highlighter i don't use a lot of gold highlighters and that's like the most basic color to find so this even though it was limited edition and it's a hot item uh it's gonna be a hot item for somebody else we have a couple of tj maxx finds this is from ellen tracy I don't know why I bought this. I originally was thinking at some point I was gonna do a video. This was before I had even started the channel. I was, I've was i been thinking about having a YouTube channel for like two, three years before I actually started it. And I thought, I'm gonna do a full face of TJ Maxx makeup. So I kept going and buying different things and I bought this because it had kind of a brown contour shade and it has these blush shades. And this was maybe $3.99, $4.99. I, these powders, I don't love them. They're fine. Like, the makeup at TJ Maxx, the, like, cheaper brands that aren't, like, bigger brands that have, like, sold off extra stock. This Ellen Tracy is fine, but it just didn't blow me away. And it's this big domed packaging, so it just takes up too much room. So it needs to go. And this rainbow highlighter, I either got this at TJ Maxx or I got this at like a Forever 21 in their makeup. But this is one of the like many, many versions of a rainbow unicorn highlighter, except it doesn't have blue. It's not a real rainbow. Get it together. Um, and so this is pretty, but I just don't need a rainbow highlighter like this. I just don't. It's too big. I'm never going to get the rainbow stripes from that. And it's too small to like get the individual colors. Like that's too much work for me. And I've been experimenting with the Physician's Formula. I do like them, but I don't love them. So this is the Butter Blush. This is in the shade Saucy Mauve. Um, and I do, I love the smell. Mmm. Um, I love the smell on these, that kind of coconutty smell. I have another one of these that's a little bit more highlightery, and so I kept that one. And then I have like a pinkish version of this. This is the Butter Highlighter. I don't really love the Butter Highlighter. It's like a ColourPop Super Shock shadow, but more creamy and more kind of... It's got a same version of this, but it's like a weird version that almost smells like butter. I know they're called the Butter Blush and the Butter Highlighter, but it doesn't need to smell like actual butter. Um, and this is just in the shade Pearl. So I kept one of these and one of these and got rid of the other ones. Then we have this baby. This is the Strobe and Glow from Profusion. Teresa's Dead has been loving some Profusion things and I need to try some of their eyeshadows. This palette is really good. These highlighters are really good, but it's so big. And again, these are such basic colors that I have these a bunch of times. And so I was like, well, maybe if I did like a whole face of Profusion or something. And so I kept holding on to this, but I, just don't need it. I love these colors. I love this color, Jolly. And I love this kind of yellow color and this peachy color and this blue duochrome. I mean, these are really nice, but I just don't have room for it. And I just have these colors a bunch of times. So it needs to go. Sorry, Profusion. You are beautiful, though. Couple of things from BH Cosmetics. I really have been loving BH Cosmetics recently. These are a couple of things that I don't love as much. This is one of their floral blushes. And you can see we've got two colors that you can kind of blend together. But this kind of warm, corally pink with this really blue-based pink, I don't love the way that, let's see if I can get like kind of a mix on these two. I don't necessarily love the way that they mix. It, you just get this weird, like, it's not terrible, but it just, it's not 
a color that I'm in love with. And it's too hard to get the individual colors when it's shaped like this. I do think the pan design is beautiful, but trying to get a little fluffy brush into like just that pink versus this, because this is the color that I would use more, this like really cool pink. Um, I just don't love the way they mix, so that's gotta go. And then we have the black light highlight. This is a beautiful six pan. I do like these, these are really gorgeous, but I just don't need them. I have so many highlighters, and when I'm thinking about these kind of beautiful colors, I have colorful highlighters from other brands. If I'm gonna do a blue, I'm gonna reach for a different brand. You know, I'm gonna reach for the Kaleidos highlighter. Um, this is really pretty, this color. Um, so these are really nice, and look at how much impact there is. Like these really are, oh God. It just wouldn't be a declutter unless I talked myself back into something. Do I have to keep this? Let me try. My fingers are also getting disgusting, but <gasps> okay. Never mind. That one's not getting decluttered. So we're decluttering this blush, and I'm a clown. I'm a whole ass clown. And finally, to end up this declutter, I've got two products from LA Girl. Um, these again are really pretty, but they're just not things I need in my collection. This is the Strobe Light Strobing Powder, and this is in the 110 watt. Um, and this is the Strobing Illuminating Powder. This I got at Daiso in Seattle. I bought a bunch of these, and I think I did a review of a collection of these highlighters. And this is in the shade Sunset Shine. So these are nice. I just, again, it's bulky packaging. That little pan in something this thick, this thick, you know, I just don't need it. So these are gonna go as well. And that completes the blush and highlight declutter. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love blush and highlight, and even the ones I'm getting rid of, it's fun to look at them again and reminisce and all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you're thinking. And also, while you're down there, I think you should give me a thumbs up. But if you don't feel like a thumbs up, you can always give me a thumbs down. I don't really care either way. It's engagement no matter what, and the YouTube algorithm just eats that shit up. So you do you, boo-boo. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon so you'll be notified of all future uploads. I upload at least one video a week and sometimes, just sometimes, I even have a bonus video for you. Ooh, saucy. If you'd like to chat, banter, or commiserate between uploads, all of my social media will be linked down in the description box below, including a link to my website, theworldofchampagne at janessaj.com. Thanks so much for watching. I love and appreciate all of you. I am so excited to have you on this decluttered journey with me in 2021. And until I see you again, bye.